Good morning. A very different start to today. It's uh, Saturday, the 1st of May. Um, I haven't got up very late on Ian's boat because that would start a rumour. And that rumour wouldn't be true, would it, Ian? Hello, Gary <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> Hello, Ianie Weenie. <laughs> Uh, simple thing is, I've had a problem with my phone this morning with storage and everything, and uh, this is Mr Tech Man. I haven't got a clue, so I wasn't able to do any filming this morning. I've had a stressful day. Uh, Ian's taken me to town this morning, haven't you? Oh, good, we're going there together. <laughs> He's taken me to town. I'm feeling stressed. He's trying to de-stress me. He's going to help me out with a bit of technology, i.e. phones and Wi-Fi and everything. Uh, all my contracts are up. And there's a lot better stuff out there than uh, than what I'm actually using at the moment for the same price. He's going to get some crayons as well. I am actually today. I am going to get some crayons today. <laughs> well, not crayons. Oil pastels. Which you like chalks as well. I'm going to turn this off now while I thump him on the back of the head. <laughs> we'll see you in town, folks, won't we? Yes. Ian and I are on our way through town now. It's very busy, but it is a Saturday morning on a bank holiday weekend. Um, got to sort out different contracts and things. Uh, I was going to say something. Yeah, we were just on our way and it started to hail. Nice hail. 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 But we are in a Roman sea city, aren't we? Hail, we hail Caesar. Absolutely. Hail um, Caesar and all that lot. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cold. It's very wet. I want to get a nice warm shop and see if I can sort this lot out. So noisy! And then there's the cathedral. Did you see the cathedral? I was up there earlier. Yeah. Check you went... out my vlog from Chester. There you go. You went for a walk. Um, and then we're coming up uh, pretty soon to a crayon shop where I can get my crayons. <laughs> Wax crayons. Yeah. Right, let's see if we can sort this out. Well, at the moment, we're looking for the particular shop. He's, he's got his Google out. And we're going to try and find this. Are you that? Yeah. Can... Can you, can you put your Google away, please, in the middle of town? It's a bit cold. It's a beautiful city, Chester. Apart from when they're doing building, of course. But it is nice. to see life getting back to normal that pub is chocker well the pub's empty but outside in the beer garden lots of people there um yeah big thanks to ian uh for helping me out this morning and big thanks to my supporters for helping me out um i can improve my vlogs now and my wi-fi i haven't got to keep disappearing to the biscuit boat i've upgraded my wi-fi and I've upgraded my phone. I'm still filming this on my old phone for now uh, until I can get it sorted. It's on charge on the boat. Uh, so a huge, huge thank you. Um, I can improve the vlogs. Uh, the quality of the vlogs should be much better using the new phone and everything. Um, my phone, this one, has done the job proudly, but it's about six, seven years old, if not more. Um, and the, the picture quality on the camera isn't always the best. Well. I think the canal fairies, I am actually walking along the canal, I think the canal fairies have been out and sent the rain to me. <laughs> the old working boats would have had very long lines on to actually tow the boats. And when they went round the corner here, their ropes would have dug into the limestone rock. Let me show you. Behind the towpath now is all nice modern tarmac back then. It would have been all muddy and gritty and stony and all that mud and grit and stone would have stuck to the ropes and you can see here how deep these are in the old limestone in the uh, the stone here around the walls you can see quite deeply I love this sort of canal history Dale on the other hand doesn't look too chuffed no. It's part of the wall. You can actually still see the old pickaxe handles with the old navvy. Navvies were carving this rock out. Quite amazing, really. 
we'll be cruising through here tomorrow, uh, weather permitting, on our way down through Northgate Deep Locks, which are a little bit further around here. It's beautiful. We'll see one of the old mooring rings here. Used to tie the horses up and wait for the locks. If there was a queue, they could tie the horses up and everything was secure. I'm heading back to the boat now. The rain's eased off a little bit, but it's very cold. Uh, I did start the engine just before I left and put the central heating on just to take the chill off. Uh, it's all locked, it's all safe, and Ian's keeping an eye on it too. Uh, later on this afternoon, I've got to go and do a little bit of shopping. But again, I do feel a lot happier now that I can improve the vlogs, make it better for you. And that's a big thanks to you. Big thanks to my Patreons for helping out with that. I couldn't basically have done it. So, uh, yeah. Please know that uh, your support isn't wasted. And it is very, very much appreciated. Thank you. It's just gone eight o'clock now on a Saturday evening bank holiday in Chester. The streets outside here still seem pretty quiet, really, for a Saturday night. But of course, it is going to be quieter. People aren't allowed in the pubs. They're all sitting outside and it is very cold. It's gone very cold. I've just taken the boys out for a little wee. They go over there by a tree that's over there. Can you see? <laughs> so I've let them out. I'm feeling a little bit better. I've had some, well, let's just say I've had some medicine. Uh, a friend of mine went and got me some from a chemist in town. So I do feel a lot better. Uh, I've, I've felt quite poorly for the last 24 hours, but I'm feeling good. Tomorrow morning, we're locking down Northgate Deep Locks and heading into Chester Basin as we've got three or four days really bad weather coming our way. Um, so we want to get into the basin where we're not going out to the 48 hour mooring here. Even though I don't think the CRT are policing it really because of the uh, breach up on the canal, we are at a dead end basically. So I don't think they're being too heavy handed on the boaters, but uh, just to be fair to other boaters, we'll free up the mooring and go down into the basin where we may have a two week mooring there, but we'll be well on our way within a few days. <coughs> The dogs have heard some noises. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow and see what tomorrow brings. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing up, Daily Whaley? Hey, Hello, little man. No. Oh. What are you doing up? You're normally asleep. <laughs> Kisses. That means your brother is flat out. Where's the chipster whipster? I'm not going to put the light on. Oh, he's right at the back. Oh, hello, chipster. Hello, Daily. Hello, Daily Whaley. Well, good morning. I've slept in. <laughs> I have slept in. It's half past eight and it's uh, Sunday, the 2nd of May. <sighs> Looks bright out there for now. Forecast is to turn to rain for the next four or five days. So uh, we're getting cracking this morning. We're going down the deep locks, Northgate deep locks. We're going to get them done before the rain comes in. And get settled on mooring rings something like 45 mile an hour winds coming in so uh, yeah we need to get uh, sorted for that we're in no rush to head to uh, Ellesmere port but uh, we do want to get through the deep locks um, before this bad weather comes in we'll be fine here but we don't want to outstay our welcome so we're gonna move on and I need to buy some crayons <laughs> maybe not today Sunday morning, really quiet in the city. Always is on a Sunday, I've always noticed that, even when I worked in the city years ago. It's always nice and quiet. As it's it's, uh, its own different feeling on a Sunday morning. 
walking the boys. <laughs> They're walking me this morning, to be honest with you. Come on. <laughs> very sorry, I've been very preoccupied this morning. Uh, I haven't done any filming for the vlog. I'm live on uh, Chuggabug again, and there's Ian. Uh, obviously, he's got his 24 7 uh, live camera going. Ian and Leonie are helping us out with the lots. Um, we're just dropping down, we're in the first pound, just dropping down, and it's getting noisy. <laughs> really? You can see the leaky gates here. Well, we're in the middle pound, very, very leaky gates, as you can see. I just wondered why I was getting a free shower, and I turned around and could see that lot coming down on me. Uh, they're not leaking as bad as they could be, uh, but these gates, even though they're new, they're only a few years old, um, they do cause the boat to some problems, very, very much so. We're lucky we've got Ian with us this morning to uh, help us through. Just imagine the pressure of water behind us. Yeah, I dread to think, I dread to think Ian just said, the water pressure uh, that those gates are holding back and the mortise uh, joint in the middle of the gates believe it or not was designed by Leonardo da Vinci I don't know the date ask him he might know the date he was there he was probably there making his cup of tea Chipster Whipster. Well, I'm a bit late getting up this morning, aren't I? And the boys are up. There's the Daily Whaley. Hello, Daily Whaley. <laughs> hey, your Chipster Whipster. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, he a cutie pie this morning. Good morning, Chipster. It's good morning. It's Bank Holiday Monday. Day off work. Woo -woo. It's um, wet. It's been raining through the night. Um, I didn't get to sleep till late last night. Uh, runners, scooters, uh, didn't get to sleep till late last night. Um, so I'm late getting up this morning, very late. It doesn't look like I'm missing much on the weather front. Um, let's just say that. Take a look in the basin. Well, it looks very wet and it's starting to get windy out there. I believe, I think Ian said there's 51, hello, 51 mile an hour winds coming in today, or gusts of 51 mile an hour, so uh, no doubt I won't be filming much today, it's going to be a quiet day. I'm uh, just going to get the boys harnessed up and get them out there, I've had my wash, um, I've got dressed, and uh, this is about as good as it's going to get today, uh, so I'll have a little bit of a tidy up through the boat later, but uh, take these boys and come back and have some breakfast. See you later. Well, it is distinctly cooler this morning. Um, as I say, no plans. We're not leaving the base until Thursday. 
and today's only the Monday so we've got plenty of time let me just put that in the bin that's it so we do have plenty of time uh, quite relaxing actually not being up against the clock or having to worry of where we're going to be by a certain day it, it really really doesn't matter and if we were to go for it uh, from here to Osmere Port it would only take four hours and we're not bothered if it takes three days we're just gonna poodle on take our time and perhaps more up in some nice places perhaps do a bit of exploring who knows this is the old dry dock at Taylor's boatyard can't really see a lot at this morning it has got water in there but very old very historical place you can't really see a lot with this fence <laughs> it's the old boatyard just to the left of it would would have been the stables now offices the canal used to end here before the branch off to Ellesmere Port up there this was the the actual ending of the Shropshire Union Canal before they built the extension to Osmere Port to complete with the port of Liverpool. They've kept the character of these old warehouses. Obviously now luxury apartments. This lovely little basin here, but look at this bridge. Look at that. The turnover bridges enabled the boats to keep the horses on the ropes. The horses would just come up that side They'd come around with the rope still attached round here and then all the way round the spiral just to change towpath sides so they didn't have to disconnect the horse from the boat. I wish I had a time machine. It would be great to see it, wouldn't it? be amazing. Yeah, with uh, I think I've been told that the... Museum won't be open when we get there, so I don't know whether we're going to wait till the 17th of May when it's supposed to be open or not, but we'll see. But uh, I'm sure we're allowed to walk around the outside of the Waterways Museum, so that'll be good, just to share a little bit of the architecture there. It is beautiful architecture. It hasn't changed all over the years. Can you imagine the noises that were around back then? The horses, the smells, the steam, the engines even, in the latter day. Would have been amazing, wouldn't it? And here we are by Taylor's Boatyard again. You can fit two boats in there. When you think all this, the Chester Basin, was opened up in 1795. They first started digging it out in 1785, so 10 years to complete. But there's been a boatyard here since then. It's hard, it's hard to, to comprehend, really, uh, when you think this boatyard is older than some countries. <laughs> Right, back to Chugs. Have a look what I can cook for tea. And get in the warm.
on a very windy blustery evening. Well back on board, Jugs, just had a nice chat with John there. Don't know what to do for tea. I've got some nice bacon, I've got all sorts of stuff in but I just can't be bothered cooking. I think it'll be a nuke tea, micro tea. Well, there it is, chicken tikka masala. That'll do, won't it? Very nice. Ten minutes. I'm trying to do this through the uh, through the camera. Oh, my freezer's working. <laughs> right, let's get that in there. When I'm busy cooking tea, I might as well do a bit of uh, editing. Ah. Ah. Tired.